Hey guys, welcome back. So as you can see on the screen, this is my Nvidia Shield TV Pro, which is now running the Shield Experience 8.1.1. .1 and I only got this update in the last few days. So this is definitely the latest version for me. Now, if I just go back out of this, back again. Now watch what happens when I press the home key we now have our custom launcher once again working on the latest version of the Shield experience and we also have widgets working. So over here I've got a nice weather widget so I can see the forecast, the humidity and so on and so forth. And next to that I've got the news widget so I can quickly see exactly what's happening around the world. And the real cherry on the cake is I did all of this without typing in any manual ADB commands and without using any button remapping software. So. If that sounds good to you, then please do take a minute to hit that like button and also think about subscribing. So with all of that being said, let's get started. If you're new to the channel and you want to stay up to date with the latest tech tutorials, the latest Fire Stick, Android and Android TV tips and tricks, then please do subscribe and hit the notification bell. It's a small click from you, but it makes a big difference to me. Thank you. Okay, so for this process to work, we need to have a couple of things. First, we need an application called FTV Launch X. Now, this is a custom application written by a developer called Eric. Now, he reached out to me for me to do a review of this application for the Fire TV Cube, but this also works really well on the Nvidia Shield, but definitely all credit is to him for this amazing application. We also need a custom launcher, and in my example, I'm going to use ATV Launcher again, but you can use any launcher that you like. We also need a method to make an ADB connection onto an Nvidia Shield. Now, I'm going to use an application directly on the Shield, but you could also use an application on your cell phone or your computer. Basically, whichever way you feel comfortable making your ADB connection, you can do that, and I'll show you the commands that you need to enter. And lastly, to ensure that we don't do any kind of manual typing, we're going to use the official application for NVIDIA Shield, which is available both for Android and iOS devices, and that will allow us to copy and paste commands to our Shield. So before we do all that, we need to enable ADB on our device. And the way you do that is if you go over to your settings menu, go down to device preferences, click on about, scroll down, and where it says build number you want to click on this seven times so let me do that now so press select two three four and you see you get the prompt saying you are now three steps from being a developer press it again a few more times and it says you are now a developer so now that you've enabled the developer mode we can press the back button on the remote let's scroll down and we should now see a secret menu called developer options. And a quick disclaimer here guys, if you don't know what you're doing, then I would advise you not to mess about with the options in here because some of them can have some serious consequences onto your device. Let's go into that now. And if you scroll down, and we want to turn on this option which is called network debugging. So let's click on that. And it says that's now enabled. Once you've done that, let's back out of this. Let's now open up Downloader. And once again, we're going to use Downloader to connect to my website. And I have created a dedicated tutorial for this entire process. So to get to my site, let's navigate to http colon forward slash forward slash bit dot ly forward slash tduk. That's me. And the numbers 2019. And in fact, because we guys keep getting back to my site all the time, I'll quickly show you how you can actually add that as a favorite. So you should need to keep typing in this address again and again. But... Once again, the address is http colon forward slash forward slash bit dot ly forward slash tduk and the numbers 2019. Let's click on go. Now, as soon as you get to my site, the first thing you want to do is press and hold the select button and you want to click the option add this current page to your favorites. Let's click on that now. We can leave that as a default and click on save. So the next time, oh, it's already saved for me. So the next time you want to access my website, you can just start downloader, go to the left, click on favorites, and you'll see my site there. You can click on that, and with one click, you'll be back onto my site. Okay, so when you get to my site, click on the hamburger menu, and select the option for tutorials. And the first tutorial in that list will show you how you can update your stock launcher to a custom one on the latest Nvidia Shield 8.1.1 .1 experience, and also how you can install and run widgets. So let's open that now. And here we can see guys, all of the software that you need is actually available right at the top. So you've got FTV Launch X, you can click on that to install that. You've got your custom launcher. So again, I'm gonna use ATV Launcher. You've got the remote ADB shell application. And then lastly, you've got a link to the Shield mobile app. So once again, this is for your cell phone. So install that onto your Android phone or onto your iPhone. And then these three applications, just click on them, go down to the green download button, 
and download that. And let's click on install. So that's the first one in the list. Let's go back. You will get this error message about permissions, but we can ignore that for now. Press the back button on the remote. Click on done. Back out of this. Let's now get the second application, which is the custom launcher. Scroll down and then download that and so on and so forth. So download the three applications, install all of them, and then press the home key. Okay, so the first application we're going to launch is the remote ADB shell. Now you won't see this in your application list here. And if I click on add, you won't see remote ADB shell here either. So the way we access that is we use an application called the Sideload Launcher, which is available freely on the Play Store. So install that if you don't have that already, but this will basically show you all of your sideloaded applications. Let's open that up. And what we're looking for here is called Remote ADB Shell. Here it is. Let's start that up now. Okay, so we can leave the IP address as 127.0.0.1, which is the loopback or the local host address. The port number has to be 5555. So let's now press the back button on the remote and let's go down and click on connect. So essentially we're making an ADB connection back onto ourselves. Now, if you're doing this from a remote device, like maybe your cell phone, or if you're doing an ADB connection from your computer, the IP address needs to be your actual Shields IP address. But again, because we're doing it locally on the device, we can leave this IP address as is. Let's now click on connect. And I'm hoping we should see an ADB connection prompt because the first time you make an ADB connection, your device has to authorize that. Let's click on connect. And there it is, guys. So it's asking you, do you allow this device to make an ADB connection? Let's click on always allow because we trust this device. And let's click on OK. And there we are, guys. We are now inside the ADB screen. Now, typically now you could be entering in ADB commands. But as I mentioned at the start of this video, you know, typing in commands here or even using a, you know, a Bluetooth keyboard or an air mouse, it still takes time. So what we're gonna do now is start the Shield application on my cell phone, and I'm gonna show you how you can basically just copy and paste that one command, that one line command to get going. So let me now open up my smartphone. Okay, so here is my smartphone screen that you can see on the screen now, and I'm gonna be starting the Shield application, which is the official Shield application. Let's start that up. And what this will do now is it will basically do a scan on your network and identify all of the Shields that you have on there or whichever Shield it can find. Let's click on continue. Let's click on continue. And there it is, guys. We can see it's found one shield on my home network. I can now click on that. And we can see on the screen now it's asking, do you want to allow this device to pair with your shield? So that's now entering that code 945843. And there it is, guys. So now using this remote application, I can see which applications I've got installed. I could use a, a virtual remote control. We can see here I can enable a a trackpad and we can see I now have a virtual mouse but the key thing we're looking for here guys is the ability to copy and paste commands so let's now go to my website and back on the tutorials page if we scroll down and what we're looking for here is where it actually tells you the first ADB command that you need and here it is guys so the command looks like PM grant DE code factor and so on and so forth so all we need to do now is just press and hold make sure we've highlighted the entire command Let's just scroll to the right a bit. Make sure we get all of that. So the command ends in settings and the command is case sensitive in case you are typing this out if you don't want to do this part of the process because technically you can just type it out guys and you can find the command because it is written on my website. But as I mentioned at the start of this video, just doing it via copy and paste is just so much easier. Okay, let's now click on copy. Let's now go back to the shield application. On the top right there, we've got the keyboard icon. Let's click on that. Okay, so now I can press and hold here, press paste, and on the screen, guys, we can see we've got that entire command written out within a second, so really easy to use. Once you have that command, let's click on enter, or click on OK here. That command has gone in, so as long as you don't see any errors, that means that command has gone in OK. Let's now test out that command. Let me press back on the remote. Let's press the home key. Let's now start the FTV Launcher X. Let's click here. Let's find the application in the list. Here it is. And when I click on it now, we shouldn't see any error message. There we go. And what this application is now asking, or is asking you is to select your custom launcher. So if I click on the drop down arrow, let's now choose uh, ATV. There it is, let's click on that. And that's it guys. So watch what happens when I press the home key. And there we are, we have now launched our custom launcher 
on the latest version of the Shield TV experience. And that's working absolutely fine. Now, as I mentioned, I will show you how you can also do the widgets as well. And in terms of customization, as I mentioned in my last video about ATV, there literally are just so many things you can do, guys. And the one that everybody asks me quickly is, how can we enable a custom wallpaper? Well, if you just go to the top of the screen, press and hold select. In fact, let me just move my camera out of the way just to make sure you guys can see exactly what I'm doing. Okay, we can go to launcher settings, go to wallpaper, and we want to enable this option first. We can now go to select wallpaper, give the application access to your files. Now I just use the downloader application to search for 4K wallpaper. I just downloaded a couple of JPEGs onto my shield. Now anything you do download from the downloader application will appear in the downloader directory. So if I click on that now, here we can see some of those wallpapers I've already downloaded. So uh, let's just go for, let's go for this one over here. And that's working absolutely fine. Okay, so the key thing some of you are asking from the last video was how can you enable custom widgets on ATV? To do that, we need to enter in one more ADB command just to give the application or just to give the custom launcher permissions to um, run widgets or add widgets. And again, this command is written on the website. And once again, we can use copy and paste to enter that command in straight away. So let's now once again, start up a remote ADB shell. Should still be connected. Yep, there it is. Okay, once again, let's now open up my phone, go back to my website, scroll further down, and here we can see where it says how to enable widgets. Once again, let's now copy and paste this command. So it starts as app widget. Let's scroll to the right, and make sure all of that is selected. Now, just a key thing here, guys, because obviously I'm doing this demonstration regarding or with the ATV launcher, but you are totally free to install any launcher that you want. And if you do want to enable custom widgets on a separate launcher, you need to slightly modify this command. So where it says CA uh, D Studio ATV Launcher Pro, you need to replace that name with the package name of whichever launcher you're using. So let's say, for example, you're using TV Launcher, find out what the package name is for that launcher, then replace this package name with that package name of TV Launcher. But for us, let's make sure all of that line is selected. It is. Let's select copy. Let's go back to the Shield application. Let's click on the keyboard. Let's now press and hold, click on paste. There's a big command there. Let's press OK or enter. And that command has also gone in without any errors. So that's it, guys. I can now uh, put my phone down. I can press the home key, go back to my custom launcher. Let's go to the top. I can now press and hold here, pick a widget. And uh, let's go for, uh, well, let's go for this one here with some nice graphics. Let's click on that. And there is our custom widget working absolutely fine, guys. And also, if I go next to that, I can press and hold. Let's now add in my news widget. Uh, let's just go for this one over here. Now, initially, that does look like it's a bit too big, and we can actually customize that even more. So if I press and hold this, and we can see we have the option to scale the content. So let's click on that. Now, by pressing left or right, we can see we can adjust the size to get it exactly how you like it. So depending on you know how good your eyes are or you know how big is your TV, you can really tweak that. Uh, but I think six stories is enough for me. Let's click on okay. Let's now say, for example, we wanna go back to the stock launcher uh, just for a second, um, not permanently, just maybe wanna check something. But the quickest way we can do that is if you just go over to your settings, go to applications, find your custom launcher, and just select the option to four stop. So all you're doing now is you're temporarily or you are terminating the process for that launcher. When you click on OK, now when I press back on the remote a few times, we can see we're now back in the stock launcher. So that's the easiest way I found to quickly get back to your stock launcher. So if I want to check something here or do something here, which I can't see in my custom launcher, I can now do that. But of course, as soon as you press the home key, you will be back in your custom launcher. So that's the easiest way you can get back to your stock launcher for a bit if you just want to check something out. If you want to change your launcher to another custom launcher, all you need to do is go back into uh, Launch X. Click on the drop-down box, and as long as you've installed a custom launcher, you'll now be able to select it in the list. So for example, let's say I want to use the sided launcher as my main screen. Let's click on that. So now when I press the home key, I'll always go back to this custom launcher, which actually I know some of you guys actually prefer because it's a very lightweight, it always works, and it's been around for a long time. So that's how you can change your launcher. And last, if you want to go back to your stock launcher on a permanent basis, all you need to do is go back into your settings, Go to applications and just uninstall launch X. Click on uninstall, press the home key now, and we're back to the stock launcher. So that's all for this video, guys. Many thanks for watching and many thanks for staying till the end. 
If you did find this video useful, then please do take a minute to hit that thumbs up and also think about subscribing because that really is the best way to help out my channel. And that basically lets YouTube know that you are enjoying my content, which will hopefully allow it to be recommended more. So once again, many thanks for that. Also leave me a comment below. Let me know what other videos you want to see on the NVIDIA Shield or the Fire TV Cube or the 4K Fire Stick. And I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon. Thanks.